Hey guys, so today I am reacting to Kaguya-sama season 3. I am so excited. I think it's been like two years since I reacted to Kaguya-sama. Now those reactions will only be available on Patreon. I do not have YouTube versions of it. Now at the time I recorded my reactions, I don't think anyone posted Kaguya-sama reactions to YouTube because they would get taken down. But now it seems like that's not happening because there are so many YouTubers that post it now, so I have no idea. But I will put a link. It has like all of my Kaguya Summer reactions on Patreon if you wanna check those out. Now I'm just gonna give you like quick information, just like things I love about this show. My favorite character definitely is Miyuki, but I do love Ishigami. Those episodes in season two, I believe that focus on Ishigami and we got like, there were some sad episodes. I really have grown to love his character because I feel like his character is relatable. So definitely Ishigami, Miyuki, love those two. But it's not just them. I just love them the most, but I do love the other characters as well. It's been forever. Oh my gosh. I'm just realizing that I haven't like watched this show in forever. I think it's been like two years, two, three. I want to say three, but I don't think so. It might be two. It wasn't at my last apartment. It was at the apartment before. So I have moved two times since I recorded those reactions. Crazy. <laughs> but my favorite episode. Now I can't remember what season. I think it was season two. But my favorite episode was the one where Miyuki and Kaguya, they were looking at the stars and Miyuki goes into full on like geek out mode with Kaguya. I thought that was the cutest thing ever. And then I think they talk about um, the Princess Kaguya story. And it was just like, <sighs> and that episode was full of feels. Now I am hoping we get some relationship progress in this season. We were teasing a lot in the last season. We had moments, or was it season two, season one? It was a mix of both. Where we had moments where you're like, okay, something could happen and then it doesn't. Now I know the tone of this show, it almost feels like nothing will happen, which might drive me crazy, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, before I get started with this reaction, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my patrons, King of the Pirates and Above Tier. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support, not only on Patreon, but also on YouTube. When you like, share, and subscribe to my channel, it truly means the world to me. Again, a huge thank you to you guys. You guys are amazing. Sparkles. 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 Okay, guys, time to get into Kaguya Sama season three. Woo! Without further ado, let's go, Kaguya Sama. Oh, we're getting right into it. Oh man, <laughs> I miss the show so much. Like, I feel like no other romantic comedy I have seen just compares to this, because this show is so freaking outrageous. Like, yay! Total. Was it saying she wants to be sued? Is that the title? <laughs> we already start with Ishigami though. It has me excited. Ooh. Is that coming from her? Oh, oh my gosh. I've done that before in school. So, oh. <laughs> oh <my> <laughs> It's bothering me, like. <laughs> what? Whoa. Oh, it's like a. Honestly, these things make me like kind of cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I can't listen to those because they just kind of make me laugh. <laughs> Some people like it though. 
Look at her little vision. <laughs> I love Ishigami. He's broken. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm tearing. <laughs> This time everyone's coming in now. <laughs> this is such a dilemma for something so simple. Or he's just gonna. Oh, ah, uh, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this so much. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Holy shit, that's great! <laughs> what a good dude! Aww. And it didn't work anyways, because she still played it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so I'm probably gonna just pause a little bit in between like the episodes when they end or the mini episodes within it. This is why I love Ishigami. Like how silly was that entire situation? And oh my gosh. And like I said, I feel like no other romantic comedy compares to this show because of how insane it is. Like all that Ishigami had to do was tell Miko to plug in her headphones. That's all he had to do. And then instead, he's like, I'm gonna take the embarrassment off of her and I'm just gonna like play things through my headphones without it plugged in all the way. I mean, again, like I said, we've all been there. We all had to have been. But I have like, I swear, I've played way worse things and I realized that my headphones were not plugged in and I was so embarrassed like it was embarrassing i forgot what i was playing or what song i don't know anyways it left me very embarrassed <laughs> so i really relate to this but also it's just like ishigami like ishigami had such a moment and another thing with this show is you have to realize that in school like if you take yourself back or maybe you're still in school I don't know. But when you're in like high school, you think everything is such a big deal when it really isn't. Like small little things. That's why I feel like the show can even get away with that because it's like kind of relatable to what like you would think in your head, like relationship stuff. You just always think that either the world's out to get you or things are just way worse than they actually are or situations. I don't know. I feel like it's always like amplified in your mind. Like when you're in high school and then you kind of like learn to like, it's okay. Like it's not like a huge deal. Like that little thing is not a huge deal. So that was a great episode. <laughs> great mini episode, I guess. Um, moving on to the next one. The student council members head home as if nothing had happened. Oh, okay. That was part. Oh, okay. I thought that was like the title for the next one. Oh, this title. <laughs> Kaguya doesn't realize. So precious. Um, I feel like she's. Does it say red on this? Because I feel like she's gonna mess up here. Because I know a lot of messaging things. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say, most things say. Oh. <laughs> the feeling of getting left on red, girl. Oh no. Is he just sitting there? <laughs> oh man. Look at her. Just doesn't know. What? Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Just tell her. Just tell her. So, is she just seriously staring at it and just not replying? Oh. 
<gasps> oh! And now she's gonna find out. Wow, I was gonna say, I'm like, bullshit! <laughs> she did? What did she send? No! Do it! Oh my gosh, and now it's just... <gasps> oh no! I can't believe she said that! Real life issues. <laughs> That would seem suspicious. <gasps> oh my gosh. What the hell? <laughs> this is so like evil in the moment. <laughs> what? She'll probably have an excuse. Oh. <laughs> of course, she found a way to get out of that. <laughs> Pretty smart, though. Pretty good excuse, but damn. Oh, that's what I prefer him thinking that, though. Discord's pretty good. <laughs> okay, so again, a problem with the whole red receipt. Like, you like that, but it also makes you nervous. Like, if you send a message to someone and they don't respond, but they see your message, and then you feel like you said something wrong or you did something wrong, and it's just really awkward. So I don't know if just having that is a good thing or not, but I guess it's a way to, like, end a conversation if you're like, oh, goodbye. And it's like red, it's like, okay. I think certain apps actually let you turn it off. I know like for iPhones, like you can turn it off because sometimes you open a message and then you're like, okay, I don't have enough time to respond. And then you get back to it later. So it's showing red. I don't know if that just makes the person feel like you're ignoring them or something. But I mean, sometimes people like actually do that. But with Miyuki, that excuse though, and seeing like the message he was sending is just like, That'd be awkward, like having your messages screened. Now I feel like he'll never just like express his feelings, which obviously they won't anyways because Kaguya and Miyuki, they don't do that. They don't do that. They play these mind games. Oh, that was a good excuse though. She got saved there. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Anyways, moving on to the next one. Let's go. <laughs> Chika wants the battle. Uh oh. Oh, I see where the battle's gonna. Oh. I think I see where this episode is going. Watch her just like one second be boom. Yup, knew it. Called it. Oh man. <laughs> they all get put into this. Everyone's gonna be on there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please stay with Kaguya. <laughs> oh! What happened? Oh! Is she just saw? Oh my gosh, girl! Damn! She killed it there! I really want to see her wrestle Miyuki! Come on! Oh no! I hope he has some strength, dude! He's getting ready. <laughs> I don't know, she's like a monster. Come on! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Are they going Super Saiyan? <laughs> Yes! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> oh, yes! It's happening! 
Oh my gosh, don't break, like, her hand. Oh! <laughs> Is this a Tournament of Power reference? It's like, that almost looks like Dragon Ball Super there. Who's gonna win, though? I feel like I can't really predict that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the noises! <laughs> oh, they're getting sweaty. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit, girl! She did it! That end shot, though! Does she really want to be the muscle queen, though? <laughs> Oh, they got to. I'm like, <laughs> bad term. <laughs> That's sabotage right there. Chica. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, muscle. Oh gosh. <laughs> I love the bodybuilder pyramid. Oh. What a great episode. Oh, that's trippy. <laughs> oh man, it gets more trippy. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's fun. The visuals are always so good in these openings. Ah, uh, love this show. Hey, oh my gosh, great. Oh. Shikami just losing his mind over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I forgot just... Well, okay, I always knew this show was good. But just like, but just starting season three, I am just like, I am just so in love with the show. The humor is always on point. But oh my gosh, if you need a show to make you feel good and laugh, Kaguya-sama definitely is that show. Like, <laughs> the entire fight and then... And just winning a strength competition, I was like, okay. Kaguya probably doesn't want the title of being like muscular or strong because obviously Kaguya loves Miyuki and so having that title, but just their little, the noises they were making when their hands were touching. <laughs> oh man, it was a great episode. Chika just trying to cheat the system, getting called out, that was freaking hilarious. Out of these three episodes, I don't even know which one's my favorite because I thought they all were so good. This and Spy Family are two shows I'm really looking forward to, but I am just like so glad that Kaguya-sama is back. Ooh. Hopefully, I feel like we have to. They have to do something else in this season in progress with their relationship. Now, I don't think we'll get a confession, but maybe like another moment. Like, what was that episode where they got locked in like the room together? Or was it a shed? I don't know. Am I mixing up animes? I feel like sometimes it's all a blur and I really felt like something was gonna happen and then nothing happened. And it's like we get to those moments where you feel like they're gonna go a little farther and then like nothing happens and then you just ah! And then you just wanna like take them and like shove them into each other. You're like, what the hell? Oh my gosh, it's like frustrating, but it's also entertaining because I don't know how I would feel if we get to the relationship part. I don't think this show is made to move past that, to be honest, because the entire premise of the show is to see like who's gonna confess first and they're playing all these mind games and manipulating, but I feel like after like someone confesses, you know what, I feel like this entire show, they're gonna confess at the same time. I just feel like that's what's gonna happen. And then it won't really count like who want, unless they go like, oh, but by a millisecond you said, I don't know. Whatever, this show is crazy and I love it. <laughs> Anyways, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also give this video a like if you liked it. And I hope you guys have a great day. Stay fresh and bye.